Welcome to Of Scale Army to the Albatross Customs Channel. I'm your host, Macris Brick, and today we'll take a look at more custom figures, smaller vehicles, a custom Action Force base figure based on a character that I created. Stay tuned to see all after the intro. <laughs> Let's have a look at my customs, beginning with Sea Star. I'll show you Crosshair some other time. Her base figure is Marvel Legends Black Cat, with a white rabbit head, of course painted the flesh, and added her diver hood, painted her wetsuit with a two-tone gloss and matte black, gave her a McFarlane Call of Duty M16 carbine, Added single point bungee sling. Drop down holster with an action force pistol. Removable knife with sheath. Drop down magazine pouches for the M16. Depth gauge. Transponder. Gridiron scuba mask. She has a personal flotation device with CO2 canisters. Real American hero patch. She has gridiron scuba set. Removable fins. These are flexible resin material from Gridiron. You could slightly see the print lines, but the detail is uh, fine for me. Close circuit rebreather, similar to the larvae of the, the Navy SEALs. I glued elastic bands for ease of putting it on. I didn't want to use the included adhesive tape. Adjust and tighten the waist straps. Pull over the neck straps over her head. Put on the scuba face mask. And that's the complete sea star. Next up is Lady J. Quick and easy custom. I purchased the head scalp from eBay from Camaro Dude because in my opinion Lady J and Flint has the worst head sculpt of all the classified figures. Repainted her arms to match the face and the neck also. I gave her an Action Force MP7 with a single point sling. I glued elastic straps on the backpack. I really don't like the mounting pegs common on most of the classified and the Valaverse backpacks. Gave her a bullet resistant vest. M4 magazine pouches. Drop down holster that carries a casting cave H and K USP. That's it for this quick and easy custom. It's time for Macris's Man Baby Corner. Retreat! I want to introduce this new segment called My Chris's Man Baby Corner in which I do critiques and I tell my pet peeves on current and popular figures. Beginning with Commando Snake Eyes with the Timber Set. Good figure overall. But look at the position of his drop-down holster 
Right on top of it is a medium sized pouch that blocks his draw. Russians elite Spetsnaz unit shooting at Old Snake or Cobra Vipers. He'll be dead like the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe origin movie. Valor vs. Action Force figures. Great concept. Legit gear. But where the hell are the grenades? It's fine the Swarm Trooper have the 40mm grenade launchers for his specific weapon. But just look at the other figures. Duster. Steel Brigade, no grenades, no smoke grenades, no flashbangs. I think that's what's missing in the, the Action Force line. G.I. Joe Classified Farfly. Besides the highly criticized heavy assault vest, why on earth would you put four IED explosives strapped on his chest? That's what backpacks and satchel bags are for. And that's the conclusion for today's Macris's Man Baby Corner. Let's move forward and show you my custom figures. So the obvious fix was to remove the four sculpted IEDs on his chest and replace it with molded FN Scar slash AR-15 mag pouches. He has extra drop-down magazine pouches on his leg, drop-down holster that holds a Marvel Legend Desert Eagle pistol, modified this vest with neck protectors, added the groin armor, telltale sign that the operator is a professional as he carries a tourniquet. I gave Farfly an Action Force FN scar. This next custom is my very own character based on my unpublished comic book I wrote on 1998, drew and colored in Photoshop. It's called The Minute Man. Blitzkrieg is the founding member and second in command. He was from the GSG-9 anti-terrorist unit. Minute Man was the team sent in to do the dirtiest, most dangerous military operations. I made a 1-6 scale of the character shown in this photo. Using Action Forces base, I had to recreate the figure in the 6-inch scale. And here's the breakdown. He has a bullet-resistant mask that's removable. He is armed with a grid iron M249 saw paratrooper version. Attach elastic strings for the sling. EOTech red dot holographic sight. Removable Surefire Mag 5 100 round magazine. Three M4 magazine pouches that holds three grid iron AR-15 magazines. Drop-down holster that carries the grid iron M1911A1 45 pistol. Sykes Fairbairn commando dagger. I made the sheath from leather, bullet resistant armor, three mag pouches for the pistol magazines, groin armor, SWAT style knee pads, gas mask bag, with desert flag time camo pattern. German flag on his left and right shoulders.
bullet resistant backplate. His uniform has the German woodland camouflage pattern. And that's the breakdown for Blitzkrieg. And this is a quick Cobra coil repaint. Disassembled and hit it with a primer. Base coat is gunmetal with a little bit of red and blues. Next up is Sartan's Daily Commuters, a stock Marvel Legends Punisher's bike, and a 3D printed Swamp Skier, the Chameleon. I do 3D prints, they are nice, but I'd highly recommend you smoothen out those ugly print lines. I use Smooth On XTC 3D coating, also Bondo filler, and then plenty of sanding, and repeating the process over. And lastly, I want to show you my Klepper Tandem Canoe. It's used for stealth riverine waterborne operations. Drag handles on the front. I made two paddles and used wooden dowels and Sintra for the flat blades. And it floats. Thank you for watching, and for all who recently subscribed to the channel, thank you for your support. If you haven't done so, please subscribe, like, and share the video. Till next time, peace.